on your side with breaking news and the Tri-State's most accurate forecast. This is 9 News at 6. But first, we're taking you straight to the Weather Center where meteorologist Steve Norris is watching some strong storms move through on Ultimate Doppler 9. Steve? Yes, Julie. In fact, a very strong cell over southeast Hamilton County and northern Campbell counties right now. And this same cell was severe over southeast Indiana. Getting reports uh, from the National Weather Service. Let's go to Ultimate Doppler 9 uh, HD. Getting reports of a roof off of a business in the Batesville area. That's in Ripley County. Also, several trees down in and around the Batesville area there. Ripley County, south Southeast Indiana. It has weakened below severe limits right now, but still a very intense cell, as you can see here on Ultima Doppler 9 HD, moving over Alexandria now in Campbell County, headed for you folks there in Richmond. Let's do a bit of a storm track here, and there's been a little bit of twist uh, with this uh, overall cell, but you can see anywhere between um, Camp Springs and Point Pleasant in the next one to 15 minutes. It is moving off to the east and to the southeast at a fairly uh, quick clip uh, at about 40 miles per hour or so. So again, a strong thunderstorm cell over southeast Hamilton County, northern Campbell, moving into western Claremont County. Outside of that cell, uh, we don't have much. Uh, this one has weakened quite a bit. It was fairly strong as it moved out of Clinton County into Highland County, but it has weakened quite a bit. It's approaching the Hillsborough area right now. So as we head through the evening hours, I do expect at least a spotty shower or a thunderstorm, and some of those could be on the strong side, maybe some uh, heavy rain associated with those as well. And then clearing late tonight and turning cooler and more comfortable with that low temperature of 59 degrees. Now, on the way, your work week forecast and the latest on Irene, which may have an impact here on the Tri-State by next weekend. Tropical Storm Irene, the latest on that in a few minutes, Julie. Julie, I am still tracking a very strong thunderstorm cell on Ultimate Doppler 9. Coming up, we'll take a close-up look at it and have your detailed work week forecast just ahead. We are getting reports of damage associated with our severe weather this evening. We are mentioned earlier in the show uh, a roof blown off a business in the Batesville area. That's in Ripley County, southeast Indiana. Uh, we don't know what business that is. If you happen to have a picture or know some information, you can email us, breakingnews at wcpo.com. Also, take a look, Ultima Doppler 9 to HD. Some more damage reports uh, coming in from Boone County around Burlington. Uh, trees and power lines down on Elwood Avenue. Also, a tree down on Petersburg Road in the Hebron area of uh, North Kentucky. So uh, that's what we have, and uh, here's why. You can see the strong cell has now pushed off to the east and is now over Claremont County and southern Campbell County. Let's zoom into it. A little bit of hail has been associated with this cell. Uh, the hail's uh, died down quite a bit as it has uh, progressed off to the east and to the southeast. You can see a little bit of hail there over uh, Kenton County as it moved through, but the uh, strongest of the cell uh, between Batavia and Bethel in Claremont County. As we widen it out, uh, that's all we have uh, on the Doppler radar. Just a couple of spotty uh, light rain showers elsewhere. Well, let's uh, talk about the conditions around the Tri-State because before that rain moved in, we were at nearly 90 degrees. In fact, 89 at the International Airport. The normal high is 85 and we dropped down to just 70 early this morning. And you can see we picked up just a tenth of an inch so far there at the International Airport in northern Kentucky, where we are now at a temperature of 72 degrees. We have cooled down a whole bunch because of that uh, thunderstorm that moved over the airport. The heat index right now at 74. Winds are out of the north at 13 miles per hour. And the reason the winds are out of the north? Well, the cold front moved through early this morning. Take a look at the forecast map right now. And there's the cold front well to our south and east. And it will be replaced by this area of high pressure as we head into later on tonight and during the day on Monday. In fact, that high is going to hang around for Tuesday as well. So we just have to get through this evening. We'll see some scatter or spotty showers and thunderstorms and then very nice weather for the start of the work week. Next chance of rain, not until perhaps a late Tuesday night and then into Wednesday and Thursday. Here's the radar network. Take a look at it right now and you can see what we have moving through off to the north and west. All the activity has pretty much uh, dried up, but boy, it has been a rough afternoon and evening now uh, along the eastern seaboard. Any number of severe thunderstorm wash boxes out in that area. I want to talk about the tropics we have a tropical storm Irene right now. Uh, tropics becoming quite active. We had Harvey and now Irene. Irene has Florida in her crosshairs probably by this Thursday. All the forecast models kind of honing in on South Florida, maybe around the Keys somewhere in that area. And the tri-state could be impacted by Irene as early as next Saturday night. So in about a week from now, here's the very latest on Irene as of five o'clock this afternoon. Maximum sustained winds of 50. Again, a tropical storm at this point. It is forecast to become a hurricane. The pressure continues to 
drop, moving to the west northwest at 17. It's over St. Croix right now. We'll move over Puerto Rico, the Dominican Republic, probably the eastern tip of Cuba, and then probably over South Florida. And then eventually we may see some of the uh, rains associated with Irene in the tri-state by late in the weekend, next weekend. Evening showers and thunderstorms, they'll be spotty or scattered. And then clearing skies later on tonight will drop down to 59 under mostly clear skies by early in the morning. And then sunny for your Monday, a pleasant day, cooler, much less humid, and that high temperature of 80 degrees. And here's your seven day forecast 85, still sunny on Tuesday. Then that next chance of showers and thunderstorms there Tuesday night into Wednesday and Thursday, and the potential impacts of Irene next weekend. John. And that is 9 News at 6 for this Sunday. We're always on with breaking news and weather updates on WCPO.com. We'll have more news here when it breaks.